Say, did you know there are still people who like the shield hero and who will defend it no matter what? I found out one and I linked him my review to see what he thinks of it. Typically he said I was being too biased against it and I didn't mention the things it does better than other anime. So I asked him what it does better than other anime. He mentions the protagonist cleaning up the mess of other heroes. Unlike other anime where the hero kills the monster and moves on, in this one the monster comes back to life and keeps causing more trouble. Therefore the shield hero is better than other heroes of other shows because he fights the same monster that the heroes have already defeated. What? This is a pretty stupid thing many used to believe about the realism in this show. They used to say, do you see? The other heroes think they are in a video game, while the shield hero lives in the world. And by lives in the world, they mean he's being paid to go kill monsters for money he doesn't need, since the heroic weapons in this show can copy anything you like. So he thinks I was being harsh because I didn't mention how he gets money that he doesn't need for killing monsters that other heroes have already defeated, but they are not dead because they come back to life? Like in a video game? What exactly does this show do better than other anime again? It lets the monsters to respawn, so you have to keep fighting them? How does that make them better than any other anime which doesn't respawn the monsters and leaves them dead? Or how is the need to get money you don't need makes you live in that world? So he thinks this hero cares about the people of this world, something no other hero does in any other anime because he gets paid to fight monsters. When he doesn't really care about the people, he hates them and wants to get the hell away from that world. And that's what makes it better than other shows and I didn't mention it because I am biased against it. Then he agrees with me that the money issue is stupid since no hero should have to make money when he was summoned to save the world. They summoned the heroes to save them, so why the shit do they demand money? What will they do if they can't pay for their meal? Refuse to give them food? Everyone's going to die! What good is money when they are all dead? Then he instantly uses his mental gymnastics and says, maybe it's to make them relatable or not to make the show boring? Oh, so all of a sudden this stupid thing that is done better than in any other anime is a creative choice! Something that only this anime does for the sake of giving you the feels. The same way it does a whole bunch of other stupid shit I listed to point out how nothing in it makes any sense. Guess what he said to end the discussion? That I am a bad person and that I should have been bullied more in school. And when I asked him why is he saying that, he replied because I was shitting on him the whole time over a show he liked. When I never said anything about him, everything I was mocking was related to the show he likes, not him. And he instantly equated an insult towards a show he likes to an insult towards him and so he ended the discussion and he blocked me by projecting onto me everything he thought I was doing to him. Meaning he thought I called him a bad person and that he should have been bullied more in school. The mental gymnastics are out of this world. Instead of admitting the show you like has nothing that makes it better than any other show, you rename valid criticism into harassment and you project it onto the person who was only trying to open your eyes to the truth. And that is why if you choose to be a fanboy of a bad show, you choose to be brain dead.